In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to write a research abstract. So whether you're writing an abstract for a conference or for a research article, I want to show you how a simple system that you can write your research abstract. If you are working on a research article, I will let you know that I do have a scientific research paper checklist that helps walk you through all the steps of writing your entire article. It's completely for free and it's available in the link in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this in a software called Jenny AI. It's an AI research writer. Um, I will have a discount linked below if you're interested in that. And the first thing I'm gonna do, and I would suggest you do whether you're working in a normal word processor or in an AI word processor, that you start with an outline of whatever you're writing. Um, whenever you're working in a normal word processor that doesn't have anything to help you with writer's block, having an outline can help you move from flow from one thing to another. But whenever you're working in an AI, it's even more important to make sure you know what you're trying to say and you don't let AI drift you into one one area or another, you as the expert want to create that outline first. So I'm going to go ahead and create the general structure that I would use for any abstract. So I'm going to start with an importance sentence. Then I'm going to go into absolutely necessary background information. And this is one part that I think a lot of people go overboard on or try to in their abstract is actually being able to um, simplify their background information to what is absolutely necessary for someone to understand what you're doing. And so then I'm going to go into one sentence on my methods. I'm gonna do two to three sentences on my key results. And then I'm going to do one sentence on the impact of my study. So that is the simple formula that I use. We do an important sentence. We do absolutely necessary background information. Really quick, what were my methods? Two to three sentences on my key results and then one sentence telling them why they should really care about my study, what my study means for the reader of this. So we're gonna go step by step. We're gonna start with our important sentence. And so let's do, we're gonna do something similar to um, something I talk about a lot, which is steroid analysis by eye mobility. So we're gonna do steroids are an essential biomolecule for medical diagnoses and environmental testing. And then I'm gonna add in my absolutely necessary background information. So we wanna talk about the absolutely necessary background information should give them the understanding of why you're doing the study basically. So basically the what, why to my study is steroids are difficult to analyze and we're gonna use IM mobility to be able to analyze those steroids. So we're going to say um, due to the challenges of analyzing steroids, ion mobility spectrometry, a gas phase ion separator has emerged as a promising method to separate steroid isomers at low biological concentration. So I'm saying a lot in this sentence. One, I'm talking about why are we doing this? Because steroids are hard to analyze. Why are steroids hard to analyze? Because they have a lot of isomers and they're at low biological concentration, which I'm including in here. And I'm even telling them what ion mobility spectrometry is. It's a gas phase ion separator. Now, if I have a really large word count for an abstract, I might go in and add a sentence about what exactly IM Mobility does. But it also depends on where I'm submitting to. If I'm submitting to something like Jasmus, 90% of those people know what IM Mobility is. Um, so it depends on where I'm submitting, how much background information I'm gonna include. When I submitted a IM Mobility paper to a steroids, um, 
I, I submitted my review to the journal Steroids. I needed to include a lot more information about IM Mobility and less information about steroids because most of that audience knew what steroids were but didn't know what IM Mobility was. So that's going to be my absolutely necessary background information. So now we're gonna do one sentence on my method. In this study, we used the combination of metal adduction with traveling wave ion mobility mobility spectrometry. So we're going to call this TWIMS to separate steroid isomers in a in mixtures. So that's a really, really simplified view of what we did here. If you are building a method and not using a method to analyze data, I would make your methods longer and your results shorter because generally your results are, this worked in comparison with this other method. But if you're just using a method, you could say like we used um, RIA and some other technique and ELISA to compare this, right? Um, you don't need to go into what each of those methods are. You don't even necessarily need to go into the parameters used unless the parameters used was a variable of your study. So if I was presenting something on, we changed these parameters in um, the IM mobility cell and looked at these results, then I need to go into what those parameters were because they're important for the study being done. I could even say like to separate five pairs of steroid isomers to give a little bit more context about how much we were able to do. And so you can always, like instead of saying we use 10 steroid isomers and then have another sentence, look at to where you can add in those important details within the sentences you're already constructing. So next thing, we're gonna do two to three um, sentences on my key results. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in here what those sentences are going to be saying. So we're going to be talking about um, ability to separate steroids. The other key result I'm going to do is talk about the formation of a heterodimer. And then finally, my final result is going to be agreement of CCS. This again just helps me to be able to figure out what am I actually saying here. So if I try and use like an AI command here, just to kind of show you this, I'm going to say, um, let's say paraphrase this academically. And see this, so it gave me something really long. I don't really want something that long. So I asked, can you write one sentence about how metal, metal adduction was able to separate four of the five steroid isomer pairs? So again, it adds in like this collision cross section stuff and that's down below. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this section here, metal adduction. Oh, it went away before I could copy it. So we're just gonna write it ourselves. We're gonna say um, the use of group one metal adduction was able to separate four of the five isomer pairs at a resolution value above 1.5. So adding in quantitative data where you can in your abstract is really good. Um, so being able to say, what does separate mean is essentially what I'm doing there. And then I could even in parentheses put mean resolution value equals, and then it could like equal 1.76 or something like that just to like show what I'm doing here. Then we're gonna talk about formation of the heterodimer. So the one pair of isomers was unable to be separated due to the formation of a heterodimer that had a mobility between the two isomers. So, and then the agreement of CCSs is, is in addition, we measured collision cross sections. 
CCS and found that they all agreed with previous literature and then I would cite here. So I'm gonna do at, go to my library and I can add in this citation here. And we're gonna go ahead and click this one. I accidentally added that one and remove it. So added that in. And if you wanna see more about uh, citations in Gen AI, I will leave a link below. Um, two different videos, one with Zotero and one just general citations with this. So we've got this one now successfully completed. So now we just need to do one sentence on the impact of my study. These results show that ion mobility, spectrometry, and metal adduction can successfully separate specific steroid isomers. However, due to the formation of heterodimers, I'm gonna remove that out. The formation of heterodimers could present a significant issue in this method being used for routine clinical applications. So this is basically a one conclusion sentence about like my results, but it's also explaining why you should care. Like how does this impact our ultimate goal? And our ultimate goal is to be able to use these methods in um, medical diagnoses and environmental testing. So now I can combine this all together and take out all of my notes in here. So now I have all of this. So now I can highlight it and you can see that this is now around 173 words. That's pretty close to what most um, abstracts are that I found. Um, that's not too far off than what I would expect. So I'm just gonna combine it all into one. Now, if I wanted to, I could use the AI to add more. So let's take this sentence here we're gonna do AI commands and I'm gonna just make it longer. So this took my original statement um, and then added more to it. So this will be highly important for drug research. So this kind of goes into the like importance of it. I could add that in um, a steroidogenesis products such as testosterone play an essential role in maintaining homeostasis. I don't think that's as important. LC is a well-known site for steroidogenesis, particularly in the male reproductive system. So this is not really relevant. I think it is relevant to steroids, but it's not what I would include necessarily. Now, another thing I can do is simplify. And I think that this sentence in particular is a little bit more it's, it's a lot of information. If I have the uh, ability, I can try and simplify this. So I'm gonna simplify it academically. So I selected the first two sentences and I asked it to simplify. So steroids are crucial biomolecules for medical diagnostic, diagnostics and environmental testing. The challenges of analyzing steroids have led to the emergence of ion mobility spectrometry, a gas phase ion separator that shows promise in separating steroid isomers at low biological constant. Centrations. I think that this does actually make it a little bit simpler than me adding in all these phrases in here. So I'm going to replace the suggestion and then I'm just gonna clarify one thing because I think the emergence of eye mobility spectrometry, I'm gonna say in steroid analysis and then do which, because obviously eye mobility spectrometry came about not because of the problem of steroid analysis, but it's been applied to the problem 
of steroid analysis. Um, and then, so that just makes it a little bit more simpler. It still sounds very academic. So then I can go in and start editing with something like AI or something like Paper Pals AI or anything like that. I just wanna show you the general structure for how to create a research abstract. If you are um, looking to write your research paper again, don't forget to download my scientific research paper checklist. It is in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.